always vibrating. And it makes us all connected. All of everything connected. Because everything is vibrating atoms. Music, it's vibration, of course. How I became a musician and got to this place right now is, I think, from uh, following my heart, like going after what I love. I started playing in the streets for uh, some years, and it was in Amsterdam, it was in Tel Aviv, but it was a good trip. Uh, I don't have any uh, formal music education. No, no, I don't have any music education. I was talking yesterday with Dortal about this, and I was saying that even now, I don't know if I am a musician. <laughs> it's more for this, I, I mean this because it's like, uh, I'm not in a way virtuous, like a musician that I want to know everything all the time and find new things. I play music and I enjoy, it's, it's very easy. It's, it's more a pleasure for me than something, it's, it's, it's like music, it's part of my life, it's not my life. In, in this way, I'm not a musician. David Svarup and Ortal Pelik, and we took them in the form of project Etna. Today we are here. The guys are going to play for the last half hour. We're going to play here, we're practically here now. Только телефона, пожалуйста, выключите. For me, it was the hang that made me a musician. <laughs> more, than, more than an event or somebody, more the instrument made this. Very much. It was very nice because I was in my house and a friend of a friend came for dinner 
and brought this instrument. And uh, both me and my friend, we are, we are musicians, we were both like, oh my God, <laughs> what is this? And I remember that I touched it, I touched the top of the, the instrument, and I touched it like this, and I felt something, vibration, or I don't know what, but something was coming. Many people call the like the hang hang drum, but it's not the drum because drum has to have a skin. It is a percussion, of course. No, I don't think. So. I, I, like I don't know exactly. The bass I know is uh, it's made of steel and brass. The hang is a it's an instrument that has been invented in Switzerland in uh, 2000 by um, Felix and Sabine, by men and a woman. And uh, yeah, it's very new and. Uh, there are a few copies of the instrument already, and in the US, in Spain, and, uh, and Russia also. I was in, uh, in Holland, and uh, I, I just moved to Amsterdam, and uh, yeah, this, this friend Raymond gave it to me, and uh, I, was, I started to play music in the street because I didn't have a job. So I, so it was the first thing the hang did to me was to give me a living. Really like food, <laughs> honestly. And then all the rest came. Hot. <laughs> well, we met each other in Amsterdam. Uh, he was playing the streets with the hang, and I was playing the streets with the didgeridoo. And we meet in uh, some uh, place in the street, and then we got to be friends. And then we started to call each other brothers, because we became very close. He's one of my brothers. I mean, because I like this, uh, in a way, I, what I dream and what I feel is, to, it's a big family, it's not only the family, your father, mother, and your uh, brother and sister, no, it's uh, all, like all the friends, I, they are part of my family, for me. I have uh, two brothers and two sisters, and I am the fifth, the baby, the last one.
my mom, she was, she, yeah, she was not working because she had five children to take care of, of course. <laughs> she was working at home. <laughs> and my father was working like in construction, and, but now, of course, he's not working. My grandfather, he was, uh, what I remember that my grandmother told me he was playing music in the street during the war, after the war, to make, live to make money. <laughs> he was playing drums. No, no, my family, no, I'm, a little, I'm the different one in a way. I'm the only one that travel and does those things, let's say. I remember that it was very easy, and I remember that I was dreaming to be a singer. This was my, one of my first dreams, to be a singer, yes. <laughs> to sing on stage. And uh, are you singing now? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But I would like to very much. I feel it that uh, it's one of the best instruments, I think, singing.
yes, I did it only a few times when I'm alone. And uh, I do some time with the guitar when I'm alone. Yeah, it's, it's more personal singing, yeah, yeah. It's very strong. Some tea? <laughs> you want some tea? Anybody? And I like. Uh, okay. I, I like when I'm cooking the music of the cooking. Uh, when I, the, when you cook, you make sounds. This I like very much. <laughs> yes, I cook pasta, of course. I'm Italian. <laughs> I like very much to cook myself because I like to eat, of course. But I like very much to make my friends happy. But, yeah, not like that I cook something very nice and everybody's very happy. This sensation I like. I don't live in Italy since many years, and I was living the last six years in Holland. So when you travel and you go in many places, you really see that in every place there is like a, a matrix, like conditioning, no? If you go to Italy, people, they have their own box. It's like everybody has, it's like you really see that 
we lose individuality, no? Because we say I'm Russian, I'm Italian, I'm, and and when you travel, you really see a lot. When you come back to a place, it's like oh, in, in this way, I, because if we will not have passport and border, we all come from the same place, from the planet. We're not different. It's like uh, if someone in Italy is born in the north or born in the south, it's not different to me now for the one that is born in Switzerland. No, it's, they're all from the same place.